Hi, I'm Crystal and this is YWAM Perth's Fortnightly News. Australian Relief and Mercy Services reaches out to families in crisis with practical help like mowing lawns and cleaning houses. ARMS is a registered charity in Australia, which means that once a year we have the opportunity to raise funds on the streets of Perth. This noisy day is known as Can Shaking Day. Yeah, we just want to thank you as ARMS very much, City of Perth, for just being really generous to um, the families that we help out, to the individuals that are in a crisis situation. And yeah, you just gave in a really big way and we were very blessed by it. And I know that they are blessed by it as well. And we want to thank you, YWAM Perth, for um, helping us out as well, for just standing there in the streets and shaking a can for hours on end. And we just want to thank you for, for serving us and serving the city of Perth. Simple Healthcare trains you to teach others about health education. The Simple Healthcare team just returned from eight weeks of outreach in Nepal and Madagascar, where they equipped locals and other missionaries with skills and knowledge to impart to their communities. Yeah, the seminar was really amazing and we had a wonderful outreach. Uh, it was really important for this area because there's a lot of poverty and the students were really eager to learn and wanting to know practical things. And one example was a mother that we met. She came running after us and called us to her house. She knew we were teaching in the community and uh, her son had diarrhea and a fever and wasn't eating and she didn't know what to do. And so we were able to pray with her. And then also the, the, the participants in the seminar got to teach her because that's what they're learning is how to teach. And so they taught her about uh, how to take care of their child when they have diarrhea and how to treat a fever, how to feed them, what foods are good. And even some lies that the mom was believing about food, we were able to correct that. And the mom did everything that we said. And the next day we went back and the baby was doing much better and he was eating and uh, the mom was really excited. And so we got to pray for her again. And so not only just give that practical help, but also to share about Jesus and to pray for them. And uh, all of our, the participants in the seminar were really excited about this and thinking about how they can use it in the future to help their community. So it was just a very important need for this area. In Madagascar alone, we spent 57 hours teaching and taught a total of 406 people. Six to 10 is the name of one of our new training facilities. We began building last year and it's been a long road to completion. However, last week we got the thumbs up from City Council to begin the last phase of construction. Yeah, so we finally got approval, which is great. It's been awesome to see breakthrough in that, uh, which means that we can proceed with our construction and get everything done so that we'll be able to uh, use these buildings as an educational facility uh, to be able to um, train people and equip people and send people out into the nations. Um, yeah, it's been really good because without this, we're not able to proceed. We're not able to do the construction. We're not able to do the renovations that we need to do that will make it comply with uh, the standards um, for an educational facility. So it's really great that we've been able to see breakthrough in this. Along with framing doors and tiling bathroom floors, we're also getting ready to deck the halls because in case you haven't been counting, there are only 39 days left till Christmas. So don't go far away because there's more news and a giant six-meter Christmas tree in the making. I'm Crystal and you're watching YWAM Perth News. <laughs>